We did my top 25 favorite kills, but that wasn't enough, so we're going to do it again. I'm going to give you 25 more of my favorite kills in horror. Let's do this. What is up, guys? I had so much fun doing my top 25 favorite kills, and I realized that there are so many great kills out there, and you guys just kept reminding me of so many other ones that I didn't <laughs> mention. And so I put together another list. And so I'm gonna give you 25 more kills. And these are just as effective as the kills in the first list. I swear to you, I promise. So this isn't uh, the best of the rest. This is the rest of the best. And let me just address this too. In the comments in my last one, I got so many people saying, this should have been higher than this. Or you should have had this kill on here. Uh, why was this missing? There's so many different reasons for that. One, if I haven't seen the movie, then I haven't seen the kill, and I'm not going to put the kill on the list. And there's movies that I know of the kills, but I haven't seen the movie. And again, I'm not going to put it on the list if I haven't seen the movie, because context is a big thing for me. Like Deadly Friend with that the, the basketball blowing the, the face off, that's a beautiful looking kill, but I'm not going to put it on here because I want to see the context of it. I want to see the movie, okay? And this is my list. If if you're not happy that uh, a certain kill isn't in like the top five and it happens to be in my bottom five, I still love it. I'd still roast marshmallows with you. I swear to God I would. But anyway, let's get right down to it. We got 25 of these things to do, so let's go. Number 25, uh, let's go with the antler kill from Silent Night, Deadly Night. This is uh, a scene that has actually been on uh, one or two other top tens that I've done in the past, but it's such an effective kill that I had to put it on this list because it's just so original. I've never seen a, a character lifted up and hung on top of deer antlers before and who better than the great Lamia Quigley uh, who's great in this scene. She's running around topless and she's picked up and like I said she's put on these antlers. Number 24 I'm gonna give you one that's a little bit lighter. Gremlins. There's a scene in Gremlins where um, the mother she kills one of the gremlins by shoving it in the microwave. And then she turns on the microwave, and we all love a good microwave kill, okay? I almost put Last House on the Left, the remake, on here because of the microwave, but I thought, wait, Gremlins did it first, and I prefer the Gremlins kill, actually. Uh, it's just cool to see a Gremlin explode inside of a microwave. It's a really fun scene. Number 23, The Collection. There's a scene at the beginning of The Collection that is so great because there's, I mean, just a freaking crowd is, is slain. There's this like circular saw type deal that comes down and there's this nightclub and everybody's dancing and the saw just comes through and just chops heads. I mean, just completely cleans house. It's just a complete bloodbath and it's such a fun opening for the movie. I think The Collection is the funner movie of the two Collector movies. The Collector's great, don't get me wrong, and there's some really spine tingling moments in that movie, but I, I really enjoy the second one even more. And that scene is very reminiscent of the scene from Ghost Ship as well, which is also a phenomenal kill. So I'll just like marry it into this uh, number 24. So you're getting another kill. Okay, before I go any further, there are going to be some spoilers in this list. I will give you a warning before I get to those particular movies, okay? Number 22 is going to contain a spoiler. It's for the movie Alice, Sweet Alice. I highly recommend that movie if you haven't seen it. But you might want to skip past this if you haven't seen the movie. So, anyway, you have been warned. It's the very end of the movie when the killer, she's literally praying at the altar, and the, the father that's in the movie, she literally stabs him in the neck, and it's just this really chaotic scene that you don't see coming whatsoever. And, and it's after you find out who the killer is. But I love a good kill scene that also is just very shocking. And that is a very shocking scene. And I love Alice Sweet Alice. Very underrated slasher film. Number 21, I'm gonna go with Strangers Pray at Night. Uh, and this is another spoiler, okay? So five, four, three, two, three, two, one. Um, 
it shocked me that uh, the th the killers in the movie all got killed. I thought that was great. And one that I really loved the most was Pinup Girl's death. Uh, you know, after the big iconic pool scene where we thought that uh, the brother had died, uh, he comes out of the water and he comes towards Pinup Girl and he literally just stabs her to death. And it's a very violent scene. And it was the first death of the killers. So it was a big shock. And it really got my fist pumping for what was gonna happen in the rest of the movie. And I think it's so cool that the brother and sister uh, end up being like victorious and the badasses of the movie uh, in the end. Number 20, uh, the original Pet Cemetery. Another spoiler for you, okay? So if you haven't seen the original Pet Cemetery, you have been warned. But I love the very last scene of the movie where the dad, after everything that's went on, he gets killed by his own wife. His wife comes through the door. It is a really creepy scene. It's probably one of the scariest scenes on this countdown. Uh, but she comes through, you know, her face is just mangled up. Her eyeball has completely been ripped out of its socket. And she takes the knife and just swings it around after she kisses him and kills him. Number 19, another Stephen King adaptation. Uh, it, the, the 2017 movie, Georgie's Kill. I had never seen the 1990 it movie so i didn't know georgie's fate uh, until i saw it for the first time in the 2017 movie and georgie's just this little sweet innocent kid and uh when he first meets pennywise which that is probably my favorite scene of the movie uh bill skarsgård's performance in that scene i thought was excellent you know he's so playful and he offers georgie a balloon and then what's to come after when his mouth comes out and completely rips georgie's arm off and he kills it. And it was it was pretty crazy. It was a shocking scene. I didn't expect little Georgie to die so quickly in the movie. Number 18, Hellraiser. The, the first Hellraiser. Again, another spoiler, okay? And I have to put this scene in here because it is my favorite kill scene of the whole movie. It just happens to be the spoiler. But Frank, he's got the face of the dad, pretty much the whole body of the dad on. And then Pinhead and the Cenobites, they get him at the end and they got him all chained up and everything. And then we got the famous line, Jesus wept. And then his body's just ripped apart. Really bloody and graphic scene. And it's one of the reasons why Hellraiser is just so damn unique. Number 17, uh, another Final Destination kill. We had a couple Final Destination kills in the first countdown. Got one for you in this one. I have to mention, from the first movie, the bus hit. You got the girl, she's completely pissed off. She's stressed out about what's going on. She's uh, at the, I believe it's a coffee shop with her friends and she's backing up and talking. And like right at the perfect moment, this bus comes by and just slams right into her. It was one of those scenes that's such an effective use of a jump scare because jump scares aren't always a bad thing if they're used properly. And that was a perfect example. Number 16, Friday the 13th part. Three. Part three actually has a lot of great kills, actually. But the one that I love the best is the the handstand kill. This guy, he's like walking on his hands, and Jason comes up behind him with the axe and completely just cuts him in half. And what's so cool about that scene, you know, it's all practical. But if you if you step it frame by frame, if you slow it down it still looks real. The, the way they were able to pull that off and break it down frame by frame and make it look so realistic is genius. But it's also a hilarious kill, actually. Number 15, speaking of hilarious kills, the trumpet kill from the town that dreaded sundown. That kill is probably what the movie is famous for, if I'm being honest, because the first movie, it's okay, but I actually prefer the remake. But the trumpet kill in the original movie is legendary. Uh, you know, you have the victim, she's up against a tree, and the killer, you know, the sackhead killer, he's got his trumpet, and he is literally stabbing her in the back with the trumpet as he's playing it. Every time it comes out, stabs her in the back. And it just shows how, like, sadistic the killer is. And this is based on, like, a true story, actually. I don't know if in real life the killer used a trumpet, but uh, it's a great kill. Number 14, Hereditary. There's a scene in Hereditary, spoiler warning, that everybody constantly talks about. And it's a decap, okay? I've given you enough of warning now. But uh, it's when the, the children, the, the son and the daughter, they're already completely stressed out, you know. And they're driving, and then the daughter has her head outside the car. And her head 
slams into like, I think it's a, like a light pole and she gets decapitated. And it's such a shocking scene in the movie. Like you do not see it coming whatsoever. And, and I remember seeing this in the theater and there was just this huge collective gasp. It's probably one of the most memorable scenes uh, or kill scenes of the last decade. Number 13, I gotta put a Halloween kill on here. Halloween 4, I'm gonna go with Kelly Meeker's death just because it's very creative. I like the build up to this kill, how Kelly Meeker, she's coming in, uh, checking on the uh, who she thinks is the deputy sitting in the rocking chair and she's asking him if, if he wants like some, some coffee or whatever. And it's Myers and Myers gets up with the shotgun and he rams the shotgun through her stomach, through the wall and it lifts her up. Uh, and I just love the way that that scene just builds up to that like crescendo once her body is slammed up against the wall. Number 12, I'm gonna go with Scream 4. And I don't remember if I had a Scream kill on the last countdown, but Scream 4, the bloodbath scene, that's what I like to call it. You got one of the characters, she's in her room, and it's kind of like Halloween 6, how you have characters in another house seeing the death of the character across the street. And Ghostface comes in, and it's just a complete bloodbath. This might be one of the bloodiest scenes in the entire franchise, actually. Um, you know, he's stabbing her to death, and she's running, trying to, and trying to save herself. And then her body gets slammed outside the window, and you just see the blood just everywhere. But I, I liked it. I thought it was an awesome kill. And really, it represents pretty much what Scream 4 is. Scream 4 is probably the bloodiest movie of the bunch. Number 11, I'm going to go with You're Next. And I almost went with the Blender kill, which is a cool kill. But then I thought, there's a better kill in this movie, actually. And I love it when the killer is killed instead of uh, just a regular helpless victim. And uh, Aaron, the character Aaron, played by Shawnee Vincent, was so freaking kick-ass. And she really gets all the great kills in the movie. But uh, the kill that I love the most is with the meat cleaver. And, and it's really the first time she kills one of the killers. She's already set up these like booby traps and he comes through the window and she catches him by surprise and she just beats the shit out of him with a meat cleaver. You know, once to the leg, then to the back of the head, and then the face beat down. And I was, I was cheering. And it's always fun when the prey gets to kick ass and Aaron probably is one of the most kick ass uh, final girls out there. Okay, now we're jumping into the top 10. Number 10 is gonna be American Psycho, The Chainsaw Drop. Uh, you got Patrick Bateman, he's in bed uh, with this call girl, and she's just afraid of him anyway, you know, but she's seduced by the money. And so eventually, he ends up chasing her with a chainsaw, but I just love the way the scene was filmed, actually, because uh, she's running down the stairs, so the camera is like facing down, and you see, you know, uh, the stairs, and he's just eyeballing where she's going and he drops the chainsaw and it kills her. And in typical Patrick Bateman fashion, he just loves it and he's like laughing his ass off. Number nine, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Uh, and I know you're rolling your eyes because it said Halloween, but this kill is probably one of the most uh, inventive kills uh, I've ever seen. And it's the one where the, the old man, the dad, he's in the hospital and you got one of Colonel Cochran's robots coming in there and he takes two of his fingers and he pushes them in the guy's eye sockets and then he like rips up his skull and you can like hear the bones crack and to me it just shows how important sound design is in kill scenes uh, because when those bones crack it sends chills up your spine number eight my bloody valentine the original uh, you got this one character she's running from the the gas mask killer this is actually one of the scenes that was uh, edited out, but they restored it back in there. But basically he lifts her up and slams her head against like this broken pipe. And I believe the water comes through the pipe and it literally comes like out of her mouth. Really inventive kill. Number seven, a movie that I just reviewed a couple months ago, Maniac. And who cannot forget the freaking head explosion when um, the killer jumps on top of the car and you got the great Tom Savini himself sitting in the car. He got to make out with this chick. And so the killer blows his head off and, and it's just such a great scene. I mean, his head completely explodes and it's just unexpected. You don't, you don't see it coming whatsoever. And usually you don't see slasher killers use a shotgun. So I guess we got two shotgun kills on this, this countdown. 
But also I just love the behind the scenes of that kill too because they didn't have the permits to do it. So they literally had to like dump the car in the lake after I think. Number six, Scream, the <laughs> opening scene with Drew Barrymore. You know, there's this, this great build up to the scene, starts off nice and light, but then she realizes she's in deep shit. And the killer, he's not playing around and he's literally watching her and she doesn't know where he is. And so eventually, he gets her, but really it's just the cat and mouse of the kill that I love so much. It's pretty much the journey instead of the destination. And I think that really counts in this countdown, actually, because you do get that payoff too once she finally is killed. And just in the first scene of the movie, you care about her character so much. And she's killed in a very graphic fashion. You know, a kitchen knife might be really basic, but, but it might be one of the most effective way to uh, pull off your kill scene and add emotion in there. Number five, I'm going to go with Friday the 13th, the final chapter, the head slide. Jason's been killed so many times throughout the franchise, but this is definitely my favorite. You know, you got the big showdown between Trish and, and young Tommy Jarvis. And Tommy Jarvis just takes Jason's machete and whap right up the side of his head. Jason comes down, his head slides down the machete, his own machete. And I have never seen practical effects that look that freaking awesome in a slasher movie. Number four, I'm gonna go with the original Black Christmas. I thought about using a uh, barb kill, but I ended up going with actually the, the first kill in the movie um, with just the plastic bag, just because of how iconic it is. You can even see it on like the poster of the movie. Uh, and and the, the kill has been repeated so many times since the original Black Christmas, but I actually love the kill too, because it's really creepy, it's scary. You know, you got the the victim walking up towards the closet. You don't really think this early in the movie that there's gonna be a kill, but sure enough, it, Billy comes out guns blazing with the plastic bag and just, you know, really easy kill, very effective, cost 50 cents to do, but damn it's scary and damn it's effective. Okay, top three, here we go, you're gonna love these. Number three, Suspiria, the original Suspiria, the hanging. And boy, does Dario Argento really take his time crafting this kill you know you got this character she's up against the window and then all of a sudden this this demon hand like comes through the window grabs her and like slams her face against there um but it's just a kill that lingers for so long and it's beautifully lit you know we all know suspiria and the use of colors and atmosphere it's unlike any other movie in terms of lighting and so it really just adds to the dynamics of the kill but then there's like so many iconic shots in just this one kill with her head like falling back, you know, into the glass. And ultimately her whole body just falling through and hanging. And completely accented by Goblin's uh, excellent score. Number two, the thing, the heart defibrillator scene. Uh, another really shocking kill. Uh, it's already very paranoid up to this point. Uh, you got one of the characters, he's having a heart attack and he's on the table. And then the other character takes the, the two heart defibrillators. You don't expect this at all, but when he presses down after a few times, the guy's chest like opens up and literally cuts the guy's arms off. And it's just a really frantic, insane scene. So we know that this is the thing. And then we see the head like slip down the side of uh, the table, the operating table. And then we see like the spider head coming out of the room. That scene alone is just, one of the greatest horror scenes I think I've ever seen in terms of like scares. It's jaw dropping. So number one, what could top that? Alien Chest Burster. Uh, this is easily one of the most talked about kills since Alien came out. You know, it's just such a famous scene. Just the behind the scenes of the scene, you know, when you got John Hurt's character uh, after, you know, coming, coming out of his funk because, you know, he, he, he had the parasite over his face. And so we, we think he's fine and they're all having dinner and everything and they're laughing. And then sure enough, uh, the alien comes out of his chest. And so that reaction of the actors is completely genuine. They did not expect it at all because really Scott didn't tell them that it was gonna happen. And it just makes the scene that much more effective, but it's such a legendary scene and it definitely deserves number one on this countdown. So that's it guys, another top 25 greatest kills let me know what you guys think in the comments i'm sure i missed quite a few i know some of you're gonna say the omen haven't seen the omen in like 25 years so that's why i didn't put it on here okay 
But I'll tell you what, I will review the Omen for you guys, okay? Anyway, also be sure to come over to Killer Flex where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays. We'll do free for all Fridays. Follow me at Drum Dums on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and Drum Dumb out.